I wonder if you've seen the latest Nadine Dorries interview on BBC, complete with what appears to be a retake. It's just an extraordinary display. And she's defending Liz Truss, who goodness, need, goodness knows needs some defence. Um, but actually, she's beginning to, uh, as I say, I'm beginning to warm to her. I never thought I'd say that. But not because of Nadine Dorries. Nadine Dorries, is, if anything, is likely to make me even more defiant and pro Rishi. She says on this BBC interview, the point I'm trying to make is that Liz Truss is more in touch and polls are showing that. I'm not sure that is the case. I don't think people have moved. I think people are quite defiantly maintaining their tribal loyalties. And uh, she says, um, she says that uh, it was perfectly reasonable for her to make comments about earrings and shoes. Uh, her defence that um, Liz Truss is more in touch with ordinary people doesn't mean that Nadine Doris's actions are any the less spiteful or hypocritical. Of course, she has friends and supporters who might argue uh, that um, any attack on her, on Doris, is an attack on her gender. It's not an attack on her gender. It's an attack on hypocrisy and uh, the, the string of weak, unfocused and potentially deceitful performances uh, that she has produced, while at the same time a neglect of her real job as Minister for the DCMS, for the Digital Culture, Media and Sport. On the day of the beginning of the Commonwealth Games, her garrulity ensures that um, as Minister for Sport, an interview on the BBC is about her tittle-tattle and not celebrating the athletes um, about to compete in Birmingham, about to celebrate the Commonwealth. Uh, this is the criticism that I have of Nadine Doris, quite apart from the uh, fact that I believe reality TV needs to be properly addressed and the DCMS committee assembled under Mrs May needs to be reconvened and allowed finally to hold a proper unbiased investigation, take full testimony um, of a wide, unbiased a range of performers who know what it's like to experience reality TV. I've drawn up some of my own proposals. I, uh, I don't want to wait until the next high-profile death, because it will come, and it will certainly come if this minister and her successor continues to do nothing. As for Claire's associates and Prada shoes, I don't think that was the issue. The interview that she gave today um, was simply unfocused. I, e even the interviewer struggled to read her Twitter feed. Why? Because it, it was incoherent and ungrammatical, and yet she is the person who is in charge of media. She's the person who's supposed to be writing all these books, and yet she can't string a sentence together in any coherent way. Um, and then she's got this thing about a positive campaign, which clearly she is not conducting. She's asked about that in the interview. Uh, and actually, at that point, I must confess uh, that Doris's answer was brilliant. And uh, I think it's important to salute uh, positive contributions. Uh, she says that it's important that um, uh, to talk about who the voters can relate to and who uh, the voters believe have walked in their shoes and understand their lives. I just think when she's talking about Prada and um, uh, that she makes this reference about uh, talk, uh, walk, walking in their shoes, a great pun. Um, so a shoe is a sort of metaphor for um, Nadine Doris. Well, let's extend that um, because it brings to mind to me the origin of the word saboteur. And I like the idea of the wooden shoe, the sabot. I like the idea of imagining Nadine Dorries 
with 600, uh, 6,000 6, pounds worth of earrings, stuffing a wooden shoe in Rishi Sunak's electric, um, uh, election machinery and gloating over the destruction that she has caused. I, I, I think this is very, very negative campaigning. And uh, as one of her, I, I don't think it's going to stop. I think she is determined to get what she wants and she will strike at anybody who questions her. Uh, either she will strike or one of her friends, I, I use the term in very loosely because I suspect she's all over the internet claiming to be many different people. I don't know, I don't know, I, 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 I have no idea, but, um, but I do suspect it. Uh, I, I got a message yesterday which read, in fact, it seems old, Nanny, old Nadine has your card marked. That came across as quite threatening. Uh, is somebody threatening me in the name of Nadine Doris? Uh, is somebody threatening me as Nadine is clearly threatening to derail Mr Sunak's campaign? I have no idea. Uh, but I don't like what I hear. It doesn't make me warm any more to Nadine Dorries. Uh, Liz Truss is another matter. Uh, the more humanity I see, the more I warm towards her. Uh, but I don't know whether I think she's going to make a good Prime Minister. I would quite enjoy a cup of tea with her.